What's going on guys? Johnny with Blazer Bass Long here and today I'm bringing you the brand Makita. Now we're going to talk about a whole entire long hair trailer. We're going to show you the blower, the mower, the string trimmer, edger, etc, etc. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy this in-depth look at Makita's outdoor power equipment. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Tugas, product manager for Outdoor Power Equipment with Makita, and I'm here at Equip Expo today showing our latest and greatest. You'll see behind me that we actually have our driving innovation tour truck with all of our power tools. And this is to show everybody that we're the same Makita you know and love for our drills and impacts, but that same battery also works on our outdoor power equipment. So here, this is actually our main event. It is a full truck conversion of battery equipment. And what we're trying to show with this here today is that it is possible now to replace your truck full of gas with battery outdoor power equipment. I actually want to start over here with the shafted products just because we know string trimmers are the most common product that we see in the market. So over here on the truck, we actually have a 30cc power equivalent shafted string trimmer. It's got a 17 inch cutting swath and it's actually a high torque design. Below that, we also have an edger featured as well as an articulating hedge trimmer. And you'll notice here that perhaps you're familiar with Makita 18 volt batteries. These are actually 40 volt batteries. So we came out with a platform of high demand power equipment because we knew that people needed more runtime and more power. So by being able to get this system, we could take a job site completely cordless. Those same batteries here work on our hedge trimmers. But if you look in the center of the truck, we actually have a couple different batteries and these are our high capacity batteries. We know that mowing and blowing, they're really high demand applications that take a lot of power drop and we didn't want to sacrifice power or runtime. So we came out with these batteries and then still have them featured on again, those commercial grade products with all those same gas legacy features. But I want to show you something here because it's not necessarily two platforms. There is a link in the platforms. I'm going to have Tyler come on up over here. But what we can do is say you have a string trimmer, but you want to have all day runtime on that. For example, are you working in fire clearance? We actually have a dummy battery right here that connects. And you can see right here that Tyler is wearing that high capacity battery. So you can go ahead and connect this onto one of our string trimmers or a handheld blower and get that same all day runtime, but be able to switch back and forth if you want a handheld blower at all. Thanks, Tyler. And then giving you a close up on the lawnmower, I really like to talk about this product because I'm finding that a lot of users, if they're working in 21 inch mowers, they like to start out with this mower and then see if this is going to be a mower essentially that if it can hold up commercial grade, seeing is believing, they'll work in other products as well. We also have our rear handle chainsaws featured over here. This is a 42 cc power equivalent featuring an 18 inch bar. And we also have a top handle chainsaw on here as well at a 30 cc power equivalent. But lastly on the trailer, I wanted to stop on this blower right here. So this was actually our first generation blower. It's a 22 Newton blower. And we saw some opportunities to bring out a higher power level. So we're showcasing our new blower here. This is at 28 Newtons of power. That's gonna be equivalent to a 64 cc blower. And we made a couple adjustments to it. You can see right here that we actually have PDC 1500. It's a higher capacity battery than you've seen compared to the 1200 watt hour batteries there. This 1500 watt hour battery, it's going to nicely complement and give extra runtime and extra power. But by pairing this battery with our CBU04 backpack blower, you're going to get that again, 28 Newtons of power. And there's a lot of fun little added features on here as well. So for example, we heard from a lot of users in the field that they would get trigger fatigue and their hands would get tired. So this little cruise control lever here will actually allow you to depress and set the trigger. So not only is that going to help with hand fatigue, but it's also going to be great for managing your power and runtime because there's of course a learning curve when you switch over to battery power equipment. Also we feature, this is a familiar feature you've seen in the industry, it's the telescoping nozzle and it locks in a perfect sleeve to make sure that all of your power is going out your nozzle toward the front here. Lastly, the harness, I have to talk about it because there's of course a weight trade-off when it comes to backpack blowers at the moment with battery. So we made sure that we uh, developed a harness essentially that was more like the backpacking industry. You'll see in the back here that the harness actually moves with your body and we have hip straps as well to make sure that that load is being carried on your core as well as load lifters and all those straps that you'll typically see on backpacking backpacks, which will be significantly more weight and users can be able to go walking all day with that. So you'll be really comfortable with the new upgraded harness. I want to actually pivot over here too because the theme we keep talking runtime. So our new portable power station BACO1 
it actually runs off of that same higher capacity battery. So say you're working in the field, if you need any string trimmer batteries, hedge trimmer batteries, handheld blower batteries, this station right here can actually charge a 40 volt four amp hour, seven of them on this working in the field. So if you're working in the field again, you need extra batteries, being able to charge seven of those batteries in the field can kind of get you through the day and be that extra little safety feature just because if that behavior you're used to having gas cans in the day, you know that you have portable power available to you as well. So one thing I want to touch on, this product that I'm excited about also on that 40 volt XGT platform is this 35 cc power equivalent string trimmer. You'll probably remember over at the truck that I talked about the 30 cc power equivalent string trimmer. This 35 cc is another step up in power, but what I'm really excited about is it's actually a multi-directional head. So, you know, string trimmers typically will rotate counterclockwise. This trimmer will also rotate clockwise at the push of a button, you're able to change that. It's a high capacity head, so one of those five inch heads compared to the typical four inch, and it's preloaded with 105 gauge line. But that multi-directional rotation head's going to be really convenient for trimming alongside freeways if you can't throw debris in the direction of the car, working around flower beds, planters. I've had a couple left-handed people come up to me today and getting really excited about it. But this trimmer is a great addition to the market and filling a need that maybe isn't necessarily being met for a lot of people right now. And also looking at this, you can see up here that we have a high torque button on this as well. So you can either be trimming in standard or high torque mode. Pivoting right next to it, we're actually showing our new pressure washer. So the specs on this pressure washer is it's actually up to 1600 PSI, 1 1.8 gallons per minute. So it's going to be a great replacement for the corded type of products you see in the market. So it's going to allow users to get into spaces where cords would typically have limited them. And there's going to be a lot of general applications. We'll have the typical standard pressure washer accessories that you see, but also a couple additional ones as well. So this will be a great, not only just lifestyle ad, but we've got a lot of landscapers coming through that if they're working on cleaning golf carts, this is a great option to have for that cordless convenience again. And pivoting over here, we're seeing a space for this in rental areas, but it's a two-in-one dethatching or scarifying unit. And you can actually see here we have the spring tine down here for lifting up and opening up layers of thatch. And right now on the unit, we actually have the blade reel for cutting into deep layers of thatch. So we think that again, this unit for cordless convenience, we're gonna see a lot of opportunities here. But we've kind of gone through a big assortment of a full lineup of Makita and you can kind of see all of this right here. And if you walk into an outdoor power equipment dealer, this is what you'll typically expect to see from a merchandising perspective. A lot of the dealers that we have with us today, they'll start merchandising shafted products. And starting at the shafted products here, we have everything from a 30cc to a 40cc string trimmer, brush cutter, loop handle, bike handle. We have different blade compatibilities available. We also have shafted products as well. You'll see articulating hedge trimmers on here, edgers as well, and then pivoting over to handheld hedge trimmers, both double-sided, single-sided. Really what we focus on at Makita is we don't want a one-size-fits-all product. We know that there's different power levels that you need. There's different form factors you need. So we really wanna make sure that you're gonna be able to go ahead and then transition your gas unit that you want to something that's battery. So we have a lot of different options available. Same thing in that options available, we have rear handle chainsaws available in both the bar nuts and the toolless versions as well. Right now we have up to an 18 inch bar and a 40 cc or 42 cc power equivalent. And then up here we have our top handle that you saw over on the truck as well, a 30 cc power equivalent, everywhere from a 12 inch to a 16 inch bar, as well as a pruning saw, and also a full lineup of accessories, depending on if you prefer a 3 8 pitch or a 3 2 5 pitch chain as well. But lastly, coming back over to that battery messaging piece, because you can really see it right here again, that this is how you choose between, do I need a higher capacity, high demand battery for mowers and blowers, or am I gonna be able to work off of a compact slide style battery? We don't want you to compromise weight and power. There's a sweet spot for every product, depending on the application that you're working with. So here at Makita, we wanna make sure that we bring all of these available options to you as well. And right off of the gondola over here, what we have is we have our sprayer section. So from sprayers, we have right here the general spraying, but you've probably seen these more, you're familiar with these in the industry. What's unique that we have on battery is the mist blower right here. So this mist blower is going to be fantastic for just as the gas ones that you've seen before, fungicides, insecticides, fertilizers, pesticides. We have a lot of mosquito guys that are already working with this unit here. It's two different nozzles available. So if you're doing that fogging pesticide application, you can flip over to that like lower micron nozzle as well to be compatible with any of those applications. 
right now I have the diffuser cap on it. So if you want a finer mist versus a concentrator mist, that's available to you as well. Or if you're actually spraying upward in the trees or downward, we have a deflector available on that. But this one runs actually off of two batteries and it's for double the runtime. So you can have a single battery in there, but we wanted to make sure just because anytime you're working in blowing applications, that can be a little more aggressive with runtime. So having these two eight amp hour batteries running consecutively, you'll first run off of the first one and then it'll automatically switch over to the second one, giving you double the runtime. Lastly, over here, I think I'll close out. I feel like, I believe we've covered everything from Makita here today, but I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out, really seeing what we're showing in our messaging today is that we're focusing on our quality, our durability, and our engineering. Makita's been in motor development for 105 years. We've been in gas development for 95 years and working in battery and chargers for 45 years. Nobody can boast numbers like that in all three categories from motors, gas and batteries. So we're taking that know-how that we have and our history working on the power tool side and applying it to premium commercial outdoor power equipment. Thank you so much for joining me today.